giant, hairy creature, part ape, part man. Indians call him Sasquatch. They believe he is as gentle as he is powerful and mysterious. He's been seen many times in the rugged mountains and deep woods of the Pacific Northwest. The encounters have not always been peaceful. In 1924, a small group of men were working a mine in a canyon near Mount St. Helens in Washington. One night, the miners took their weapons inside and bolted the door. They thought they were secure for the evening. Outside, something strange was happening. The cabin was under attack. Boulders rained on the roof, and someone, or something, was trying to break in. The miners later described their attackers as large, hairy apes. The siege lasted several hours. escaped injury that night. The area now known as Ape Canyon is one of the many places in the Northwest where man continues his hunt for this elusive creature we call Bigfoot. <laughs> information based in part on theory and conjecture. The producer's purpose is to suggest some possible explanations, but not necessarily the only ones, to the mysteries we will examine. To the Indians living along the Columbia River in Oregon and Washington, or those in Canada, there is no need for proof of Bigfoot. Sasquatch has been a part of Indian lore as long as they've inhabited this land. Some anthropologists believe that the creature could have come to the northwestern part of the United States along with the Indians, across a land bridge that once connected Siberia to Alaska. The newcomers to this country have seen Bigfoot in an area ranging from northern California to southwest British Columbia. To the Indian, Bigfoot carries a mystical significance. Sometimes it's difficult to tell where myth ends and reality begins. In our modern world of concrete and steel, we're far removed from the Indian lore of Bigfoot. It's hard to imagine any corner of our crowded world where a giant man-like creature could roam free. Yet there's persuasive evidence that Bigfoot is real and that urban man may be close to his first meeting with this living legend. It is felt by some scientists that Bigfoot falls somewhere in this progressive chart of man, a giant hominid related to but not like modern man. According to this theory, Bigfoot would have pursued a course of evolution separate but parallel to his human cousins. Dr. Grover Krantz is an anthropologist at Washington State University. Its locomotion is the human design, so we know it's probably our closest living relative, but uh, in terms of um, anything uh, mental characteristics, no, it's not human. So it is a mixture of ape and human characteristics. And if you want to call that a missing link, that's fine. Now, this is a cast of a jawbone of something that I think is actually the uh, uh, Sasquatch. This is a jaw that's anatomically in between human and ape in its teeth, but it's uh, much larger than any living ape, much larger than a gorilla, for instance. These are known from fossils about a million years old in China. 
and uh, it has been named Gigantopithecus, and it has approximately the characteristics that our Sasquatch has, so I'm inclined to think that this uh, species just simply is continuing today. The most convincing visual evidence of Bigfoot is a film taken by Roger Patterson in Northern California. Dr. Krantz believes it to be authentic. I've examined the film many times, uh, watching it forward, backwards, stop frame, measured, and everything. And all of the anatomy of the creature is perfectly consistent. <clears throat> it does, just simply does not fit with a man wearing a suit. In fact, a suit of that size, we can establish exactly how big it is. There's no way a man could fit into it. The shoulders and chest are simply too wide. The feet are um, properly designed for carrying that kind of body weight, and uh, that doesn't make any sense uh, uh, unless you've got a body of that size. And Patterson uh, could not have faked any of this stuff. I talked to him about some of the things I saw, and he didn't even understand what I was talking about. Reports of Bigfoot sightings in the Northwest go all the way back to 1811. There have been some in other parts of the United States, but most have come in the area from Northern California to British Columbia. In 1882, a British Columbia newspaper published the story of railroad workers who saw and captured a creature they called Jacko. No one seems to know what happened to that creature, but the hunt for others has brought headlines all across the United States. There have been an estimated 2,000 reported sightings of Bigfoot. Half of those are considered fakes. The other half are very real, especially to those who live in this rugged country and who have seen with their very own eyes, seen something strange and sometimes frightening. I'd been down to my folks' and Cindy was with me, and we decided it's time to go home, and so we left. And... Lewis Alway and his daughter Cindy of Stevenson, Washington, returning home one night from visiting his parents, came across something they'd never seen before. Uh, it was about, oh, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, and Cindy was sleeping on the floor, or, I mean, on the seat, and I come around the corner there, and, and uh, there it was. It looked to me like he had just come over the top of the guardrail there. I woke her up just before, and she got to see it just before running the brush. And at first, I thought it was a bear. But when it took off across the road on its hind legs, I just, I just couldn't believe it. Now, I hunt and I fish and I see a lot of game all the time. And it, it looked like something that I'd never saw before. Three or four years ago, uh, we received a call in the uh, late part of the fall, uh, the people who own this cabin back here said they'd found some tracks of what they thought was a large animal. And uh, we came out and investigated that. Back here by the tree, we found uh, several tracks that were real large, way larger than a human. I sure, uh, sure wonder about it. Sheriff William Klausner of Skamania County in Washington has investigated tracks and talked with eyewitnesses. He's seen too much to be totally skeptical. The most unique thing about what we've uh, learned from this is that the people who have either written or called who have experienced the same kind of thing or had seen tracks mention of uh, a strong sulfur smell, and that's uh, real unusual. 